Backgrounding cattle in 2010 is going to be a real challenge for us cattle producers across North Dakota. Um, the price of feeds are going up tremendously and the price of cattle keep changing. So it begins to wonder why would we ever even think about feeding calves beyond the normal weaning time. Well, if we do some budgeting, we find out that the weaning time profits that can be made after weaning for feeding, uh, that opportunity is actually fairly good. Um, with the rapid changes that we have in our feeding pro in our in in the in the industry, our co-product prices, our feed prices, our discounted grains, everything is fairly dynamic this year, as well as the pricing of calves. So consequently, there is some margin to be made, some profit to be made, or it appears to be in doing this. So, um, one of the projects we have here is called Calf Web, and it's an internet site that you can connect to. It's uh, chaps2000.com slash calfweb, or just type in the Google search for calf web, and it'll come to our home page. At our home page, we have three, two different options that you can look at. One is the break-even calculator, and the other one is the closeout analyzer. Press on the break-even calculator, and what you find then is a spreadsheet, or not really a spreadsheet, but a fill-in-the-blank type form that you can put in your own numbers and at the end you've got three different options for the prices and then you can do a, a basically an array of different prices see where the profitability could be for these cattle. Um, when we do this it's, uh, it's internet based, it's quick, it's easy. Um, there's also links to other sites which should give market prices across North Dakota um, for feeder cattle. Um, there's actually another site where you can uh, look for prices for uh, the feeder market, in other words the CME futures market, and with those you can go together and fill in the blank for these particular uh, spreadsheets. Okay, when you go into the spreadsheet, one thing you have to do is put in your name, put in your address, put in the type of calves you're going to feed, and then their weight. And then put in the price that you're going to have for the calves. Whether you're going to use your hot home price or another price, the sell barn price, whatever price you want to put in, and then we start filling out the blanks until we uh, get to the bottom end. There's options for feed costs. There's an option for as fed conversions. Now here's a thumb rule. When you use ad fed conversions, eight pounds of feed per pound of gain works for backgrounding calves around two and three quarters pounds a day gain. So eight pounds of feed for a pound of gain for two and a half to two and three quarters pounds of average daily gain. That's as fed. If you're using a high moisture feed, something like that, then you're going to have to uh, have a lot more as fed feed to the feed bunk, but when we calculate it out on a dry matter basis, it's pretty much the same. Okay, now we've got to have charges for yardage, and yardage in North Dakota is somewhere between anywhere from 25 to 32 cents. We could have it at as low as maybe 10 cents if all you want to cover is your direct cost, but usually there's facility and pumping water and insurance and fuel and machinery repair and everything else that has to go in as well as labor. So a lot of times the yardage is up towards 32 cents uh, per head per day. Then there's a veterinary cost, five to ten dollars per head. There's a marketing cost, um, put in your numbers, 2-3% of the ending value. Uh, trucking costs, there's a miscellaneous feed toss that can be $5-$10. That's like ear tags or vaccinations. Uh, there's also a price protection cost in case you want to buy some price protection. And that can be anywhere from $0 per head up to $15-$25 to $25 per head. And then we include an interest rate. And then we do have another item in there that allows for you to put in a certain amount of dollar value that you might have to uh, come up with to maintain ownership of these calves. Um, that could range from 0 to 100 percent depending on how you do your particular job. So now when you're at the bottom, now you have the opportunity to put in your prices and you put in your prices on a per pound basis for selling these calves. I like to use today, um, we use an array of 95 cents, a dollar and a dollar five for eight weight calves. Click the uh, calculate button and then you'll have a spreadsheet. If there's some errors there, that means you put some numbers in incorrectly and you have to go back and figure it out. Just toggle backwards and work it. Print it out and now you'll have a sheet that you can take to anybody that's calculated correctly and if there's some profitability to be made in the assumptions that you've used for feeding these calves. Now, when you're all said and done, one thing I like to have you look at is three months from now when you're finished background on these calves, let's use the closeout analyzer and find out how well you did. It's different than the break-even calculator. That's 
a projection. The closeout analyzer is like taking a test after you've after you've done it. So tells you how you really did. You might find out you did a lot better than what you projected, or it might be the other way. Either way, we sure hope you have an opportunity to background some cattle in North Dakota. And with the fluctuating markets, it's surprising. This year appears to be one of those years where backgrounding cattle could have an opportunity.